Hey there guys, I'm Dengs564 and this is continuation of our let's play of Atom and I, I've been, when I've loaded, I've thought a little bit about uh, uh, leaving, but in what I did instead, I looted everybody here and put all the stuff that I don't can't carry right, right this moment into this place. Because, well, I'm not sure if the bodies will just despawn when I leave the, the area. Um, and I think it's just safer to put it into the container. Uh, so that's what I did. I loaded everybody and put all the stuff into container. Besides, I think it, it is actually quite useful to grab myself the, um, the shotgun right here. Maybe I should, like, grab that one as well. Yeah, and I'll sell one of the... And while I'm, I'm encumbered, I don't think it affects me in any way, shape, or form here. So I should probably be fine. So let's let's just go. We'll, we'll sell that stuff. If something else, we'll return here and uh, grab all we left. If, uh, if it'll stay there, that's good. If not, well, we actually can actually... We can probably check whether the bodies will stay uh, or not right after we leave and then we'll just enter again and I'm thinking that bodies will despawn so we'll figure out if if what I did mattered or not no actually bodies are still here so maybe it was uh, was all for nothing yeah whatever okay let's go to the factory oh I was worried that it's some some sort of random encounter happened or something. Also, I should probably eat just to restore my uh, um, what's it called? Hmm. We've been ambushed by the members of the murderous doomsday cult. Let's try to talk our way out of it. Success! You've managed to talk your way out of this predicament, because well, um, at the moment my. Mm, what's it called? My... Oh no, my health are, is full for some reason. Was it full? I think I was damaged quite a bit. Oh, and I, right now I'm hungry, so let's eat something. Uh, we have this thing. Uh, canned meat. Or we can eat this canned meat at all. Give some uh, some toxicity to, to us. You know what? That's fine. Let's eat this one. Also, does any of them have some sort of uh, any of the bandits? Is there someone who can trade or something who has money? Because I would love to sell them something. That'd be pretty damn good. Also, if somebody would have, uh, I don't know, maybe I can talk to this guy. Does he have any ammo for AK? That'd be pretty damn dope. I I don't remember if I actually talked to him. Well, I, I talked to him, but I don't remember if I actually tried to trade with him. Because if you have ammo, that's oh no, he can, he doesn't barter. Hmm. Well, thanks for nothing, bastard. Uh, do you, you can barter? Well, he has that red O, which actually probably we can buy. I mean, it's it's light. It costs a lot of money, so why not? Holy crap, this one costs a lot of money. Mm. So let's do something like this. Let's give him this rifle and that will be pretty much what we need for that. Alright, this Giger counter, we need to probably get rid of it.
So, how much are we carrying at the moment? Okay, quite a lot still. Yep, I came to report the whole thing with the Moonshiners didn't go as planned. So you're telling me that you killed them, is that it? Well, it, it's what happened, the situation was very tense. Well, let's go with the not-so-strong silent type, I guess. <laughs> yep. Oh, hi, how tired I am from having to deal with this dim-witted butchers. Dan turns quiet and looks you directly in the eye. The bandit's the gaze nails you to the place uh, where, you're, where you're standing, despite the calls for, uh, for escape coming from you. Instincts it's self of self-preservation. Uh, the staring contest hardly lasts for more than one minute, but uh, for you it feels like as if it lasted a lifetime. The tension is grown because Dan hasn't uh, said a single word or moved a single muscle of his body. Finally, the bomb mob leader takes a deep, drawn-out, wheezing breath and snaps his fingers with annoyance. But sadly, I have no one, uh, no one else except simple-minded butchers. Fine, I have anticipated this. Here's your cut. The leader takes out a bundle of bills from the bosom and hands it to you. Um, I'd love to <laughs> level up before we... How about barter? Yeah, because I don't think speechcraft would would have worked yeah yeah uh, by the moment all right he was saying something I just skipped through it but I don't think there was much so it, there was something like yeah yeah uh, thank you goodbye um, by this moment you have finished your sentence the mob leader is going through his notebook obviously looking for something is written down in his uh, in, down in the past he's not even listening to you anymore finally he nods and hides his notebook back into his bosom Okay then, well, what's done is done, at least at the moment, the, now I need uh, something a little bit different from you. I think you will be happy to hear that uh, it's somewhat more straightforward than the previous tasks, as they say even a dog can do it. But with something at least partially resembling a human, it should take much less time. In just a few words, you need to scout out a certain place that everybody is talking about lately, but nobody has useful information about it. I'm talking about the so-called Roaring Forest, also called Rattling Forest or Rumbling Forest, and it has a lot, m a lot of, m of, a lot of such names. Give me a map, I'll mark it for you. But it's a legwork. After that, when you, uh, when you get there, look around, take a stroll in the neighborhood, talk to the locals. Sh uh, uh, should there be any, find out what's roaring the, the forest ro Find out why the roaring forest roars and, and that's it. Do you understand? What are the most widespread theories as to why the, it's roaring? The underground railway, a secret bunker of the Communist Party, mutants, magic, you name it. I'm inclined to believe that those are just uh, fluctuations of the Earth's surface, but I cannot be completely certain. Why are you so interested in it? The rumors, if the rumors are true and there is a secret bunker or laboratory un or, or underground railway, I want to get the place under my total control. It's simple, really. Okay, I'll get to working on it. Uh, by the way, can you trade anything? All oh, right, I wanted to also to set the prisoner free, didn't I? doesn't have money per se. How about if, if, if I... Uh, I want to talk about the captive. Can I free him? Oh, maybe I should have... All right, he will not negotiate. Yeah, here's the money. Can I barter with you now? No, he doesn't have them. That is unfortunate. So, now that we have only medium guns, and how about I get large guns to maybe, like, Let's get you to, I don't know, 70? Well, it's 70. Yeah, we're gonna have to put uh, all of that in here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go free the, the, the captive. He'll be returned to the village. Maybe actually in the village we'll be able to buy or do something. I don't know. But now our speechcraft should be pretty good, right? At least I hope so. Okay, uh, 
Uh, no, you. They came here for the prisoner. Here I is an eyebrows and surprise. You don't say, and can you prove it? Do you think that any bum can come and come to me and say that? Here's a note from Dan. Okay, he reads it apparently, he looks at you again, twists the note, and he find and finally shrugs it with indifference. Okay. Well everything seems to be in order. Um, he takes the knife, quickly cuts the bones, and that bound the prisoner and okay. Prisoners with us. The man nods and sniffs, glancing nervously at the surrounding area. How's it going, Savior? Mm. Can I ask you a few questions? How are you feeling? Considering the circumstances, well, actually... Well, actually, knock on the wood, nothing to complain about. Uh, let's discuss tactics, follow me. Sure, no problem, lead the way. And let's go. Yeah, but as soon as we leave the factory, I'm off to the village. Uh, okay. That's unfortunate. I, I was hoping that he'll he'll actually go with me to the um, back to the what's it called? Is he following? Yeah, he's following. Back to the distillery so that I would be able to put some stuff onto him. That would been that would have been pretty damn useful. Generally, some more companions would be useful, so that I don't have to carry all that by myself. Considering I don't, be, I'm not able to carry a lot. Uh, yeah, and I'm, I'll probably get rid of the meat and stuff like that. First, let's go pick up the stuff that we left as much as we can I guess and then we'll go to the village where is that roaring forest or whatever it's called is it somewhere in here that's a farm I don't know uh sure meet the caravaneers they might have something useful I mean they have s some really nice armor from the looks of it uh, let's let's trade. Show me your wares. Holy sh! He's loaded. He has some ra armor. Armor class plus fifteen. Wow. Okay. Does he have any ammo? Lockpicks. Ooh, that's that'd be nice. Can I have one of those? God damn it, I want all that stuff that I left there right now. Do you have any ammo? Come on. Really? No ammo. Explaining what this stuff does, I think it... Yeah, that it just sourced it. Okay. So... This... That... Needs to go... Hmm, it, it costed, didn't it? I don't know, I think it was 800 at, uh, hmm, maybe I'm wrong. When I was trying to sell something to someone. I don't know. So, that will be 2000 for a single one, right? Son of a bitch. No way I'll get that enough to buy that. Mm, oh well. Let's just do something like that. Give me some more money. And trade. This is a imposing gun that was developed and developer with American company, how this particular example ended up in the USR hidden in darkness. Okay. 715. How different is it 
Well, not actually much different from Makarov. 614. But has quite a decent amount of ammo right inside of it. I'm not sure if it's even better than my AK, so I don't think I'll bother. Okay. Let's get out. Is there any... Any place I can go in here? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, let's get out. It is unfortunate that I met him right here and not, you know, not when I'm coming back with stuff. Fine, let's get out of here. Maybe when I'll be going back to the Tradna, I'll meet him again. We'll see. Oh, the bodies are gone. Is my stash still safe, though? This guy's here. Yeah, that's because these guys are here, isn't it? Uh, can we trade with you? Well, you have some money, but the money are not for the guns that I have. I mean, not... M oh, yeah, my all my stuff is here. Good. Uh, so... Vodka is so heavy. God damn it. This is 10 kilos, but I'm pretty sure this is quite expensive. And can be sold for a good amount of money. Scrap metal is, is just way too heavy. Like, why vodka weighs 1.8 kilogram per bottle? Like, it's half a liter of vodka itself, plus bottle. I mean, like, tops, uh, I don't know, one, one kilo tops. It's like 1.8, maybe. 1.9, I don't know. 1.8, I guess the one is uh, just a mistake. It should be 8.6 or something of kil kilos per vodka bottle definitely not and again same thing with diesel fuel diesel fuel is lighter than uh, than water it should be somewhere around I don't know well depending on how much of the bottle is it right it should be around a kilo not more We're encumbered again. Don't think I can pick up a lot more. St well, I can probably pick up a little bit more stuff to th about to 35 or something. What can what do I want to bring with me? Oh, well, maybe a vodka bottle, just one. Yeah, I think that's about that's about it. Pretty sure diesel fuel is quite expensive. Can we barter with you guys? Nope. Okay, good thing I stashed the stuff. There's still quite a lot of money in there. I know at least what, a couple of hundreds? Uh probably more couple of hundred troubles and the diesel fuel that I'm carrying is probably somewhere around 500 at, at the very least okay let's go to Tradne first and then we'll try to find where the hell is the is the forest we're looking for oh what that's the bunker we should go check the bunker. 
Okay. No. Oh. Was word there again for a second that something uh, happened, but it's just. Hmm. You're being followed by a small pack of hungry wolves. If you won't do anything, they'll surely attack you. Well, let's try to escape. Oh well, let's fight the battle. Hmm. That's not good. Oh, I'm I'm so heavily encumbered because I'm so hungry. Oh, that's not good. Uh, how about? Let's save, because I, I'm afraid that one shot will not kill them, and I'll probably want to burst them, so... No, did did the trick. Let's move a little bit, bit back. No, oh, really? Seriously? Hmm... Reload would require... okay. Oh, I cannot move. Okay, I, I will probably be dead if I'll not uh, burst this guy. Okay, that was way too close for comfort. Uh, let's eat some meat okay running low on ammo here at least we have uh, a rifle uh, 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 I mean the double barrel shotgun so at least something we have if we go to Atradne Still no idea where the forest is. Oh, what the hell is that? Um, there's a dude here. Can I do anything here? Nope, just this dude. Huh. Doesn't look like there's a... Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. There's something here. Oh, and there's some... No, it's... It's just, <laughs> just where I'm going. Okay. Some money. Eh, well... But it's worth something. Let's go see what this guy has. I'm pretty sure I got past this uh, uh, milk truck before, didn't I? Like on on the uh, on the map. How come it didn't show as uh, enterable or something? Okay, that was all for nothing. Also, exit should be on every freaking side here. Come on. Why is it only over there? <sighs> Taking forever with encumbrance. Okay, finally. She's out. Uh, off we go. Let us see. Yep, that's the bunker. Also, we might want to check on that, uh, that guy that we freed. And we're, we're getting hungry faster or something. Maybe. Or maybe because the, just a lot of time passes while we're traveling. So, let's go to the shop first. 
Let's see if it has some more ammo. Because that'd be great. Oh, he has some of that ammo. Hmm. Yeah, no nothing new. That is unfortunate. Get rid of that. Hmm. What else can you offer me? I don't know. Biscuits. Fine. enough let's go see uh who are you say bearded man in police cap uh is that oh that's some sort of a mailman can, can we like trade we oh look at that at least a little bit of ammo. Well... Okay. Some sort of a mailman. to buy some medicine. Do you have any more medicine? It doesn't look like it. Let's take the mat kit. Let's sell him some stuff. what magnifying glass is for it says uh, could be useful for uh, an armor or something but what do we sell the Makarov look at that like for, for the the price is varied this one's costed uh, what 600 something on the previous guy this guy will pay me 780 for it which is weird. Is it depending on the relationship between people or something? I don't know. Maybe. Well, I'll just top it off with money. What else do I... I do not need here. No. I don't need that tea. I don't need that soap. Yeah, I think that's it. We'll leave vodka just to, you know, get rid of uh, radiation, just in case. Okay. And let's give him some money. Uh, actually... How about small discount in the back? Um, on drugs, no. I need your help. Okay. I'd better go. Now. This guy, let's talk to him. Hello there, sister. Um, I can see that you made it into the, to the village as soon as we left the factory. I also rushed over here. I'm sorry I left without saying goodbye, but that place was getting on my nerves. 
Uh, I can understand that, it's okay. Uh, he scratches the back of his head. Listen, thank you for saving me. Um, I don't know how... Uh, I don't know long I would have, how long I would have lasted, I guess, here held hostage by those jackasses. I must say that uh, when I saw you entering the cell, I thought uh, I'm a goner. Ha! <laughs> but when you pulled that trigger, I thought to myself, that that's it, yes, but you must have known from the beginning that the gun was, wasn't was loaded. Of course, that's why I fired it. Yeah, that that's what I thought. Not that it matters. Thanks again for saving me, sister. If it wasn't weren't for you, I'd be long gone. Uh, that's what's important. Yep. Oh, by the way, uh, I need to thank you for for my rescue. Well, the thing is, sister, people think that I, I don't have a penny to to my my name and that I drink all my money away. But no such thing. I fix things for everyone around here. Here in this lands, my expertise is unique, so to say, which means that I have some savings. There's an empty old house behind the gates. Seriously, I've been there. Filled with lots of source, with lots of source of garbage. This is where I keep my logbox. Uh, there's a switch left of the entrance. Push it and you'll see a light coming from under the old bed. Push it out of the wave uh, and boom, you're in my personal little cellar. The safe is, is in there, welded to the floor. This is where I keep all my extra cash. The code is 4228. Uh, okay. Not hard, right? Only four digits, take everything, and uh, I keep inside. Don't be shy, there's not a lot of money there, but I hope it helps. Okay. 4228, got it. Uh, can you answer? Uh, let's change the topic. Uh, can you repeat the code? Tell me, how did you manage uh, to get become the prisoner? What was it you said? I must have uh, heard about it, about the treasure, about the millions, so shameful. I mean, if there was a good reason for it, I'd be more understanding, but no, it's just out of stupidity. It was a lapse of judgment. Look, a, a troop of soldiers came through the village. I kind of talked a few, to a few of them into drink, drinking with me. We drank a few glasses each. When the soldier boys uh, loosened their uh, their tongues a bit, started telling that they were, they were from Atom, a legendary outpost of government organization. I didn't believe a word they said, but then they told me that their group marches to a lost bunker somewhere in the north. That there were uh, they only wanted to put... Uh, it on their maps, take some old tech and move on. This is when I got this bit uh, bright idea to follow them and loot the place after they leave. Huh. And I guess I know where the bunker is. Did, did they tell you, tell you anything else? So much for keeping secrets. Yeah, they kind of... They were kind of chatty, though in their defense they were drunk as sailors. They also told me that, well, they had some, what's the word, miscommunication in the group, like one part of the team knew something that others didn't, and my boon companions were from the the later part. So half of the group knew something, but kept their mouths shut, and the other half was in the dark, so to speak. And where's the bunker? He... You give the map, he looks with you to, with puzzles. Wait, you already have it marked. Yeah. Okay, see you, bye. Uh, let's talk to the village elder. Maybe he'll... Who are you? I don't think I've seen you. Well, I haven't been here during the day. That's the problem. I think it's just uh, one of the person who was sleeping. Yeah. Also, let's uh, reload the AK. By the way, do you have anything to barter? Not really. Uh, I have something to tell you about the bandits. 
I have freed prisoner from the mobster compound. Yes, it, it was stable of the village mechanic. I stopped him when he was running to the village at full steam. I asked him some question and found out that you were the one who should... Uh, the one we should thank for his return. Thank you very much for all us... From all of us here, by the way, right now he either he's either working near the water or chilling uh, in the tavern. Those are his favorite places. Um, yeah, well, we don't really need the money. Uh, the head shakes your hand firmly, and maybe I'll, if I'll have some better reputation, maybe it's like I don't know. Don't don't need the reward. Thank you. Uh, no, no, honestly, thank you. In these times, it's rare to find someone to help you selflessly. I will remember that. Mm, okay. It's just, maybe, you know, we'll get something out of it differently. Maybe there's some sort of reputation that, that can be improved, and uh, who knows. Uh, let's go see what we can see near that, that freaking place. He's... Outside the gates, he said. And I think that's the only place outside the gates that... Okay. He said something somewhere near the door, there is some sort of a switch or something, but I cannot see it. Oh, there it is. Right? There we go. Oh, come on, seriously? I don't want to waste ammo on it. Let's just punch it. Holy shit! Eight Fort. What the hell? What the shit? Okay. What the fucking... What the, the... Come on. That's ridiculous. Can I use it? That's it, I'm dead. Uh, can we load? Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, this single mouse is the dangerous freaking... <laughs> ...creature in the whole freaking... ...universe. Seriously? Come on, dude. What the hell is that? <laughs> well, I got 120 experience for that. Toy sword? <laughs> uh, I wonder if I can sell it. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, how's it called? In, 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 yeah, the Nutcracker. That's the Red King, I guess. Eh, let's take condoms. Forty-two twenty-eight, right? Ooh, 
sweet a backpack. 20, plus 24 kilos, that's awesome. Uh, well, let's take all. And let's equip that... Uh, that thing. Cool. Here, some web rounds, some nails. Do we even need nails? I'm not sure. Let's pick them up, we'll figure it out later. Uh, I don't think I need that stuff. Oh, can I... Maybe, can I give him the sword or something? Will it do something if I'll give him the sword? You gained a golden walnut. A peculiar nut made of, of, of pure gold. Noble metals are slowly gaining their price back, so this little nut can make you hefty sum of sum of sold. <laughs> nice. It's strange, but the Nutcracker looks happy. <laughs> I love that Easter egg. It's pretty damn cool. Okay. So let's get out of here, I guess. Uh, I want to see the the bunker. I want to get to the bunker. Before we, we stop. Also, I need probably to eat something. Also, where is the goddamn forest? I think he marked it on my map, but... Doesn't look like it. It's probably somewhere over here. Because that looks like the forested area. Let's go to the uh, bunker first, I guess. Let's save. And off we go. Hmm, might as well go through here. Looks like some sort of an outpost. Uh, sure, let's meet the Carveneers. What do you have to sell? Some ammo. Oh, helmet. Yes, I'll take that. Increases armor class, some damage resistance. Mm, not bad. Uh oh. He, he'll give me only 585 for the rifle, though. Not rifle, but shotgun. Oh, well, I guess that's fine. Which will you give me for the nut? 300 troubles? Okay. I don't need that. I don't think I need that. Uh, do I need the seeds? I don't think so. So, have some seeds. I'm just afraid, like, watch and see that this will somehow will be, you know... Uh, a quest item for some bullshit quest that I'll waste lots of time to try to get. Okay, let's just top it off with money. Where is that the goddamn helmet? Okay, so why armor class 10? Some damage resistance... Fine, that's good.
let's go to here let's enter let's see what it is hmm looks empty don't like that at all like really looks like completely indefinite definite outpost but nobody's here maybe it's not done simply huh 545 problem is we well let's take all frankly it's probably not done right Because it looked like definitely looks like somebody should be here. Oh, look at that. Dead people. Okay, let's get out. I, I want to get to the bunker. Off we go. That road leads like from this outpost directly to the bunker. Maybe, maybe it's supposed to be empty, but I don't think so. What the hell? Oh, night time, right? Um, can we like camp and eat something? Or some meat? Cook. Off I go. Off I go to the bunker. Let us see what we can see. Holy shit, there's a helicopter here. Lots of dead bodies. Probably picked clean already. And it looks like it's in good condition. Oh crap, I'm radiated. Uh, we have some... Red resistance, right? Um... Anti-radiation. Well, we have vodka. Uh, okay, there's a personal diary, diary here. Uh, let's just save here because I am afraid I can actually die here. Uh, before you stands the fairly well-preserved autonomous minecart. It's filled with dusty old boxes, control panel covered with old paint. is installed on the nose of the cart. And stra uh, as strange as it seems to you, minecart is almost free free of rust and still usable. Inspect the boxes. The wooden boxes are simply empty, probably looted bef even before the ap apocalypse. Their only contents now are fallen leaves, dust, and sand but wait you notice three shells lining the bottom of the boxes well take the ammo spec the control panel um uh, control panel was freshly painted once the years but once uh, but the years took their toll now only patches of old paint cover the device any uh, indications of key function disappeared after years uh, under open sky however you get the feeling that the Mechanism which makes the cart move still may be activated. Inspect the mechanism. The gadget that you're looking for is clearly hidden beneath the plate under the control panel. All the bolts are rusty, but uh, you might be able to tear it with a little bit of force. Well, I don't have any force. Uh, press the button. Inspect the cart. Can I? Press buttons and random. The buttons can hardly be pressed because of the exposure that the cards suffered over the years 
Try to pull the plate open. Try again. Gather all your strengths and pull. The plate gives way. Oh, look at that. The rusted screws are no match for your muscle. Uh, inspect the mechanism. Try to fix it. Sweet. Using your expert eye, you look over the mechanism. After a moment, you realize that the device is much less complicated than it seems, giving the central gear a push and uh, running the anchor fork to its slot. You take a step back uh, to admire the fruits of your labor. The card mechanism is now ready to use. Inspect the control panel. Uh, press the button random. What? Inspect the control panel. Okay. The button can hardly be because of all the exposure. Didn't I fix the mechanism? Okay, go away. Well, there is a door here. can break the lock like generally or is it oh there's some sort of a termite nest here uh... like I can can't break it at all or is it just too hard to break what if I'll use my lock picking skills uh... Starting my personal journal, my name is Ivan Lenin, for which I should be thankful to my grandfather, who changed his surname in 1920. Colonel Malashev made me a deputy junior colonel uh, of junior colonel Epstein, and we're moving out to for a scouting mission on the surface. I'm pretty happy about this, and means I'm not. Uh, the only one who started hearing scratching noises, grinding sound from behind our walls. We're probably going to slight going slightly nuts from isolation. Some of the sci scientists, uh, on the other hand, believe that the source of the sounds is different. They're thinking it's a result of experiment that were implemented here. They are knocking to be let in. The code, uh, Lock him up in the maintenance room. Okay. We found the helicopter where it's supposed to have been standing and it looks well preserved, even though Sam said that judging by the weather charts, more than 30 acid rainfalls have passed since the moment X. Said we should sit, split up. We'll be staying near the entrance and trying to start the helicopter. The rest will go to Krasnoznamionny. I'm not too afraid of the alleged irradiation, despite the all the of the Artemius pitching. Mm. Broke on the first floor. The helicopter broke too. Nothing is working properly. Absent the rest moved out. We f we four decided to rest near the entrance. Seems like yesterday our all our troubles seemed so far away, but now it sure as hell seems like they are here to stay. <laughs> uh, Beatles, through this word, even I fall to the f into the philosophical. There are probably m more countries, nothing to kill or die for, and no religious ideologies, nothing of the sorts. Starikov looked at me funny and pointed our surroundings and said it's too too late to quit drinking when the liver is already collapsed. Yeah. Radiation, radiation poisoning, a lot of... Okay, well, doesn't look like there's a lot of uh, useful stuff here. In the thing, it's just... What if I'll use you? Can I break the lock then? Oh, 
Oh, sweet. Where's my... There was a code for something there, but... I think I'll actually make a cut here and we'll probably continue in the next episode. Oh yeah, I I'll probably not be able to get all that far in because of that freaking turret over here. But thank you guys for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, goodbye!